uninterrupted convoys of trucks streaming out of Idlib province. Inside, civilians, mostly women and children, fleeing a heightened bombardment campaign by the Syrian regime and its Russian ally. According to the United Nations, more than 235,000 people have been displaced by the violence in the past two weeks alone. On Sunday, the European Union called on Damascus and Moscow to put an end to the military escalation. All parties have the obligation to protect civilians. The regime and its allies must cease indiscriminate military attacks and respect international humanitarian law. The EU also demanded unhindered humanitarian access to the three million civilians living in Idlib after bombardments forced the suspension of vital aid operations in the region. But the Damascus regime, which now controls over 70 percent of Syria, has repeatedly vowed to retake Idlib province, the country's last major rebel-held stronghold, which is dominated by jihadist group Tahir al-Sham. Turkey, meanwhile, has refused to withdraw from dozens of observation posts it occupies in Idlib and has asked Moscow and Damascus to halt their offensive. Ankara is worried the violence could trigger a new influx of refugees, adding to the four million displaced Syrians already living in Turkey.